Currently, the camera tracking system is really simple. All it basically does is keep the player in the center of the screen and then use this smooth damp method to smooth out the motion a little bit. But there are some problems with this method. One is that the camera lags behind whatever it's tracking. So if you're moving quickly, then the screen is mostly filled up with stuff that's behind the player instead of what's in front of them. So I think there needs to be some sort of look ahead bias when the player has a high velocity. Also, you can get some weird camera movements and bad framing when zooming in and out. And finally, when the player is on the ground, the ground itself takes up about half the screen. So framing like this would probably look a little better. There are so many cases for how the ragdoll is moving, what the zoom is, and just what the environment of the level is like, that it's not really possible for the camera to show everything perfectly all the time. But I have a few ideas on how to make it look good in most cases. Okay, I've been working on this for about three days now. Here's where I'm at. In the previous version of the camera tracking system, the camera's position is continuously interpolated toward the player's position. And as you saw before, this results in smooth motion, but the framing doesn't look that great. One thing I tried was calculating the position of the player relative to the screen that would frame the scene the best, and then transitioning the camera toward this ideal offset. This has the opposite effect. The framing is good, but the motion of the camera is really abrupt, which is especially noticeable when there's a sudden change in the ragdoll's velocity. So I eventually figured out how to combine these two methods. The camera's position is interpolated to the player, and added on top of that is an offset value that's interpolated separately at a slower rate. Taking a break from the camera controller, I decided to work on a basic title screen. Speaking of title, I'm probably going to change what the game is called. The name Siege Engineer is just kind of hard to pronounce, and it doesn't sound that great to me when you say it out loud. Also there are things that exist that are called Siege Engineer, so I kind of want to change it just for searchability reasons. I want the name to convey both the medieval theme of the game and its physics sandbox aspect. The name I like the most right now is Siege Physics. Twitter didn't seem to like it as much, but let me know what you think. I also worked on improving the connection forming of circular objects. So before, stone balls could only form connections at their centers. But after a little geometry, they can now connect to beams and other stone balls in pretty much any way. Getting back to the camera controller, I made a few more improvements. 
It now uses 2D ray casts to figure out where the ground is relative to the ragdoll. And it uses this information to keep the ground in the bottom third of the screen instead of sometimes taking up half the screen. Also, the camera now zooms out automatically when either the ragdoll is moving fast or to keep the ground in the frame. And one last thing, I need some testers. If you want to help with the development of the game by playing early versions and giving feedback, then come sign up. Thanks.